United Arab Emirates Prix du Jockey Club and they're running and a little bit slow was Flemings Firth and Polyglot running very freely towards the far side. Polyglot on the far side, classic cliche in the center, Commoner coming right up to join the lead, in fact to take it up and it's Commoner and John Reed going on but they're going a very steady pace in the early stages. Commoner from Indian Light, classic cliche on the far side, just in behind them Flemings Firth. Then come the second colors walk on mix of uh, Jean-Luc Lagardère. The back marker at the moment is Rifapur, and it's Commoner the leader, Commoner under the stands rails with on his far side classic cliche, Indian Light comes next, followed then by Affidavit, and towards the outside of Affidavit, moving into fourth place now is Celtic Swing, but still going a steady pace in the lead, Commoner, Polyglot coming up on the outside, classic cliche next, and then Indian Light and Celtic Swing matching strides, Walk on Mix comes next, and behind them is Affidavit and then Flemings Firth on the stands rail. Still, the back marker is Rifatpur, and only one ahead of him is Darman Mix and Commoner, still the leader from Polyglot. Then Indian Light on the near side. On the far side, classic cliche in fifth place. On the outside is Celtic Swing, and going up into third now as they race past the halfway mark. They're opposite the Grands Écuries du Château, and as they are, it's still Commoner, the leader from Polyglot on the outside, traveling well in third place is Celtic Swing, and then comes Indian Light, classic cliche, making ground towards the outside, Happy David, then on the inside, it's lead on mix. Racing now to right-handed over the far side, and as they do so, it's still Polyglot and Commoner disputing it from Celtic Swing and Indian Light, and behind them, classic cliche, then towards the outside, it's Wing Glove. They're into the straight now, and they've got two and a half furlongs to run, and here comes Celtic Swing in the center to challenge Polyglot. Behind him is Wing Glove, and then Flemings Firth, and Reefa Poor making a run towards the right of the picture, but Celtic Swing has taken it up now with a furlong and a half to run from Polyglot. They're racing into the closing stages, and it's Celtic Swing in the lead from Polyglot on the far side, and then comes Happy David. And Wing Love is third. They're racing into the final hundred yards, and it's Celtic Spring being challenged by Wing Love. Celtic Spring from Celtic Spring has won it from Polyglot and Wing Love. And behind them, Classic Cliche and Flemings first, and then Diamond Mix. And behind them came Affy David. And looking back to last place, it was the early leader, Commodore. So Celtic Spring has won the 1995 United Arab Emirates Pre Du Jockey Club. He has won it with a photo for second and third between Polyglot and Winglove, with Polyglot uh, surely second and Winglove third. But it's a great triumph, this, for Celtic Swing and for Kevin Darley on his first ever ride here at Shanti, his first visit, this 34-year-old rider who rode his first winner 18 years ago, and Celtic Swing, supplemented for £33,000, has justified all hopes. So, a fantastic performance by Lady Harris, his trainer, a great decision, surely, by Peter Saville. Will he be tempted to run at Epsom as well? Celtic Swing the winner of the £300,000 United Emirates, Emirates, United Arab Emirates Pre Du Jockey Club. And possibly, although challenged in the closing stages, quite a clever winner. It's very close indeed, the second. It is a photo, as I mentioned. But this is the winner, Celtic Swing. Well, this was a real dilemma for Kevin Darley early on in the race because uh, there was no pace on at all. He sat there in third on the outside. He moved up coming to the straight. There you see him going past the line in uh, good style. He scraped home by a half a length. The lack of pace, I think, has made it a harder race for him in the home straight than he endeavoured or in the uh, 